Hi everyone, so in the last video I showed you how the neon pig pigment worked with uh, the neon light or the black light. And now we're going a step further, so we're going to do an infusion with fluor resin. So I have a stack ready under vacuum with a biaxial um, fiberglass. So it's uh, woven in these and these directions with a core uh, called 3D core and it's a PVC flow and it fills in between the little gaps. So we should get a cool effect and the infusion will be done under vacuum um, with the uh, neon light flashing onto the resin going through. So I hope this will give a good result. We will be using the infusion resin, so the IN2 infusion epoxy mixed with the two hardeners. So I'll prepare the mixture and then we'll go to the infusion and see how the results um, are going to be. So I'm quite exciting excited about this project and I hope it turns out great because I've never tried it before so um, we'll just see uh, the results uh, later on. Okay so we're going to prepare the mixture so I have my cup right here. This is the infusion resin. Just giving it a quick mix just to be sure that everything is well mixed into the container because this is a new container that I'll be using. I'll put the scale on zero. I'm going to pour 200 grams um, of resin, so the A component, and that should be enough after a quick estimation of um, the amount that will be needed. Um, so here's a cool thing. You can use the uh, slow hardener and fast hardener together. So um, just to have it cure faster, but not too fast, I'll be using a two, um, two till three um, mixture. So um, two parts of the slow and one part of uh, this one. So if you're mixing 200 grams, we'll need 60 grams of hardener. So the ratio is 100 on 30. So I'll do 40 of this, of the slow and 20% uh, and one part of a uh, fast, so 20 grams. So we have 41, 42. And so I'll add 18 more of this. So this is a fast. Otherwise you have about 24 hours before the molding with the slow. I mostly do two days, so 48 hours, just to be sure that everything is well harden hardened. We're at 60, so 200 on 60. Just give it a quick mix. Normally, like the thing is you have to mix up for about two minutes, scrape all the edges, just to be sure that everything is well mixed. I don't care too much about air bubbles at this moment because I know that I'll be degassing the resin before infusion. And then we have the, oh, I'll take the red pigment and just add it to the mixture. So about, I think, 10 drops, maybe more. Because I want to, be <laughs> to have it very vivid so very bright in color so just keep adding it and then you can mix and that is the color that I was looking for so um, it's still translucent very vivid as a color okay so we have the setup right here so um, this is the neon light shining onto uh, the fiberglass in between there's a core now it's not visible but once it will be infusing normally you should see the 3d core um, popping up it's connected to the catch pot going to the vacuum pump it's connected to the power um, and this will be the resin in okay so we have the pump running right there just added the resin here and I'll just open the valve, shut down the lights, and we should get some pretty cool results. 
so we have the resin going through so this is still peel ply and then it should start filling the three d core later on so i can see that it will take a while so i'll just put it on a fast forward so you see the entire process and i'll get back to you at the end of the, uh, the infusion Okay, so we're 48 hours later and now I'm going to do the demolding of the piece. Then I'll just do a following step with the uh, trimming of everything. But I'll just quickly do the unbagging or <laughs> like you say, unboxing or unbagging um, of this piece. Normally it should come off quite easily. I would highly recommend you to wear gloves because these edges can be extremely sharp so um, I've cut myself multiple times I want to avoid that so you can see the part already lifted um, so it's a good release. I've used the uh, chemical release agents from Easy Composites and for me it works every time. So uh, I'm not changing from uh, that release agent anymore. Um, I prefer to remove the peel ply when the part is still onto the mold or the plate just to be sure not to bend it or crack the resin. So um, the peel ply will remove the infusion mesh and leave us a nice finish. Um, it's a bit textured, but it's good if you want to apply a second coat or want to, uh, or want to do a glue uh, or want to glue another piece on it. Um, so that's why it's good to have peel ply. interesting thing I see here is that on the infusion side there is a bit more um, color so that's something to keep in mind for future uh, infusions with this and this is the result so I have a little spot of I think it's dust must have been carbon fiber um, it's a pretty cool result so I'll do the trimming now and th then just do a, a quick outro uh, just to explain and show it under the light again. Um, yeah, so I'll do the trimming now. Okay, so the part is trimmed. I just clean it with some water. And as you can see from a like manufacturing perspective, this is a very good part. So uh, no pinholes, uh, very smooth surface. Um, just some marks in the 3D core probably because the 3D core was a bit dirty or something. I, have I had it for a while uh, laying on a shelf and probably some dust got on it. Uh, but this can be solved. So I'll just show you a cool effect you get with the light. So uh, very cool. And now just for the last step, I'll take it to the, uh, to the dark room uh, where I have the, the black light and just show you the results one, uh, once again. And after that, leave in the comments what I could do with these. I was thinking about making coasters, like cutting circles out of this place. So I have four coasters. Uh, if you have other ideas, please let me know. So um, I'll try to keep uh, that in mind for a future project, maybe um, to use that um, for something like that. Okay, so I'm back again with the UV lights. So uh, this is the result. So um, 
pretty cool. Um, just, I don't know if I mentioned it already in this video, but this only works with a UV light. So it's not glow in the dark or something, but it's reacting on the blue light uh, coming off right here. With the excess resin, I've also did a casting of the skull. That's about it for this video. So if you liked it, do a thumbs up, share the video, write a comment, and uh, I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.